Hi everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we're going to start on my mom's journal. I'm so excited. Well, we're going to... I've started on it, but we're going to work on it some today. And uh, first I want to show you... Um, last video we were doing um, just playing with some of my stuff, so I wanted to show you how everything turned out. We did this one together. Um, there's another tag here another tag I have so much fun just using stuff up what's sitting on my desk here's a long kind of I don't know kind of like a bookmark maybe I like to have bookmarks in my journals um, journaling card back coffee dyed another journaling card here with just a bingo card and some tickets and lace and things like that. Put ledger paper on the back of that one. And here's this one. This was the one where the last video cut off before I could show you it finished. And of course I've stitched all around these to finish them up. So those are great. I'll put those in my stash of things and they can be used in journals. Okay. So I want to show you what I did for the calendar here. Um, my mom specifically asked for, um, in her journal that there be a calendar. My mom does not have a cell phone. Um, she doesn't want a cell phone. <laughs> so she doesn't use digital um, digital things. She uses just a regular planner slash calendar to kind of keep her um, her herself organized. So she asked for one to be put in here. So what I've done is, oh, this is the paper I wanted to use on the front and back inside covers of this. Um, so what I did was I created a calendar for her and I'm just gonna pull it out. I just put it in the center part of the middle signature. So here's what it looks like. I just printed it on purple paper and I designed this to where she's got a month on two pages and it's blank and what I'll do is I'll fill it out with the months from March because I'm not going to give her a calendar that has January and February in it because she just won't use that because those months are gone. So this will start in March and it'll go through December. So I designed a month on two pages um, and then I've got two sheets of lined paper. I don't know if you can see that. In, yeah, you can. Um, so I designed it to where there were two lined pieces of paper after each month. So if she has a doctor's appointment and maybe it's a new doctor and she's jotting down the appointment in her book and needs to write the address or take any notes on things she's got going on in the pre in this month here, I give her two pages to do that. And so then so the next um, page is the next month and then two lined pieces of paper. So it just goes like that. So she's got a month and then two pages to take notes on all the way through December. And I just printed it on purple paper because that's the primary color here in her journal. It's her favorite color. So what I did in order to not add more bulk to the book with the calendar, because it's just copy paper, it's not too, too thick, but we were already kind of, I felt like space was at a minimum as far as decorating goes. So what I did was I went through each signature and kind of pulled a couple of my least favorite papers from each signature to make room then for the calendar I was putting in the middle signature. So that's that. Oh, and I want to make a correction. Okay. This kit that I'm using, I said was Artie Mays. It is not. So let's make that correction here. This is this digital kit. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's called Lorella and it's by Tracy Fox. And her, um, her Etsy shop is called Love Junk Journals. So if you go to Etsy and type in the search Love Junk Journals with no spaces, her shop will come up and that's in her shop. It's called Lorella. And I picked it because number one, it's beautiful. Number two, it's purple. Okay. And so also, if you're interested, I'm not going to walk through a tutorial on how I um, designed this calendar um, insert for here. However, I did get inspiration and instructions 
Um, I'm not sure what her channel is called, but I have linked the video. She's got a video tutorial. Um, the video tutorial is on how to create um, Midori Traveler's Notebook inserts. And she walks you through on Microsoft Word on how to create this. And so I just created mine following her instructions but she does it with the traveler's notebook inserts that are, you know, they're narrower. They're as long as this. I mean, as wide as this, but they're not as, I mean, they're as long as this, but not as wide because it's a traveler's notebook. So I just left my margins on the page to be just a regular page. I think I did narrow margins on mine. And, um, and so, but I followed her instructions to the T on how to create it. It's a wonderful tutorial. I never knew how to do my own inserts with calendars, lined papers, etc. Um, but I follow her to the T, her instructions, and it's the, I, now I do my own. I don't even bother buying them because it's so easy to make my own now. And I've saved the templates in my computer so I can just print them whenever I need. And she walks through how to design it how to actually do it on the computer and the instructions on how to print it where you get the per your perfect um, in, uh, insert or whatever you're creating. So I have linked that below in the description box. So if you're interested in doing that for any of your journals or traveler's notebooks or anything like that, um, check out her tutorial. Um, I learned how to do it from there and I've always been making my own since then. Okay. So here's where we're at. I'm going to put this aside and bring in my bin. I've printed some images um, online. Um, my mom, I told you guys, absolutely loves Sherlock and she loves the BBC show that Benedict Cumberbatch um, plays Sherlock in. So I took some images, printed them in black and white, and then... Um, so that she had some of him in her journal because she just loves him. <laughs> okay, the next thing I did was I went through the book that I took out of the cover. And this is The Complete Adventures and Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. Okay, and so um, originally, back in the early 1900s, um, he from 1901 to 1905, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Print, uh, wrote these stories and they submitted them and they were published in the Strand magazine. Okay, so this is a collection of those that were submitted to that magazine in those four years. And what's wonderful about the book is it, uh, it kind of broke apart as I was tearing things out. The original artists, um, the artist is Sidney Paget. His original illustrations for the magazine story when it was published, all of those images, all of those illustrations are in this book. So that was amazing. So what I have done is I took out the title page because when I'm doing a themed journal that's based on a book, I like to include the title page in the journal. I think it's a nice touch. But I've gone through and the whole book and I tore out pages. These little maps, hand-drawn maps, were really cool. So I, I tore out a couple of those. And then I just tore out images that I felt I could crop um, or anything like that to use on journaling cards. Here's a map and a great picture. Um, so this is what I'm going to use as focal points on um, journaling cards, um, tags, also on pages, because I've found when I did my little women journal, that black and white um, images look really good on music paper. So like maybe in the corner of a music page, that's a great place for an image. So they'll be scattered throughout the journal. Okay, and then what I've done is I've pulled, this was, I'm not sure where he got this from. Some napkins we can play with that are the theme of, um, they have, they're purple. 
These are my off cuts from all my paper. Um, I pulled this journaling card from my bin because it was the right color. This is just some coffee dyed paper. And here's some stuff. Um, this digital kit with the add-on was just full of tags. These are envelopes that I've already cut out, inked, and put together. Um, I reprinted. Uh, I, I reprinted the pockets so that I had two of each one to use. So there's because there's three signatures, so I wanted to make sure there were two in each signature. And then there was all of this ephemera, all of these tickets, um, pictures, flowers. Um, nature things just that all went I mean there's tabs more tickets there's purple labels I mean, there's so much stuff to play with here so and I love that oh here's some bingo cards there were bingo cards in there so there's just banners there's a ton of stuff to play with here so what we can start doing now is start working on some of the things that are going to go in here. So what I thought we could start with, what I really want to do is find places. I really want to use these, but they're a full page thing. So I think what I'm going to do is glue them down on three sides so that they're like a side pocket. So I want to use these, but I want to leave this front part clear for, what did I do with all of those pictures I just showed you guys? Oh my gosh, oh here they are. <laughs> In the front of the book I want um, the title page of the book, so let me find where I put that. It's in this pile somewhere. There it is. So I might have to, I hate to lose this edge border. Let's see how much room we actually have. Where are my scissors? Well, I guess I'll have to use my little ones. So I'm going to just cut right on the border and see, so I can see how it fits and see how much of it I have to lose. I, I hope I don't have to lose anything, but. So I hope y'all are doing well today. As I cut this out, my daughter is on, um, I can chat a little bit while I cut this out. My um, daughter's on spring break um, for high school. And so, boy, she had a tough week. It was midterms. She's in the honors program. So it was midterms, um, like on the quarter for the, for the semester last week. And boy, she was just so stressed. She needs a week to be able to just sit and do nothing because she was just had a horrible week last week. She's one of those kids that stresses if her, um, grade is lower than an A. And she'll even stress if it gets close to an A minus. Um, she just is that way. Oh, look, it's perfect. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of room around the edges. So I think I might take it down just a little bit more. Just a tad. Even just that tiny little bit will help. So she was just, Emma was ready for spring break. She was just like, I need a week to just recover and just relax and not have to worry about anything. So she stayed up late and slept in so far and um, seems much more relaxed. So that's good. She really needed the time off. She stresses herself out so bad about school and she's only a freshman. <laughs> it's like, wow gonna get worse you know <laughs> this is only the beginning <laughs> oh my gosh she's so funny she keeps me laughing okay so I think that's gonna fit even better because I want this to be on the front page that's great 
Okay, so I'm going to add some ink to this, which isn't going to be the easiest thing, given that it's like kind of book weight paper. Actually, I'm not going to kind of ink the edge now that I think about it, because it's just black. It's not going to show up, but I'm just going to add a little ink here to the to the front so it's not so crisp, you know? And then we'll get this glued down and see if we might want to add something to it. I'm not sure that I will. I hate that it covers up this really pretty paper though. Maybe here. Ooh, let's put it here. I don't really want to cover this up too much. And if I do, I want to do it with something from the kit. So maybe this can go here. Let's put it on this music page because I don't mind losing some of the music page. Let me find my glue book. I don't mind losing some of the music page, but I do mind losing some of this. And if I do lose it, I'd rather it be with a piece of the kit. So let's put this here because this isn't really a good journaling space anyway. I'm glad to be working on this for my mom. She's going to be happy. She's asked me about it so much over the past few months because, like I said in my last video, I've had the signatures put together and um, and all of the pages out of the book to where it was just a cover for probably months now and just haven't worked on it because I was just doing other things. You know how you do. You get all caught up in um, a project that you're doing and while you're working on that project then you get excited about another project before you're even done with that project and so you want to just get to work on that right away so things that you have waiting just end up getting pushed farther and farther back in the line of things to do and this was just one of those things oh that looks really good okay so the title of the book is in where all of the illustrations and stuff are coming from and it matches the cover. Okay, so I do want to put this here um, and I think I will glue it on three sides and we'll make it a side loading pocket. So let's do that. See if my glue, there we go. See if my glue is going to cooperate with me today. Because I think an index card will fit in here pretty good. So I'm going to set it farther back here so that there's room for something to hang out on this side. Okay. Get that down. Okay, let me grab an index card really quick. Oh, you know what? They're not in the same spot. My, my, <laughs> my craft room things aren't where they were at the other house. <laughs> so I get lost sometimes when looking for stuff. Okay, let me find my, find my index cards. Here they are. I'm gonna pull, pull a couple out because we'll probably be using those. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Get this coffee dyed index card. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Okay, so let's see if this fits in here. Yeah. Nice. And when we were looking at the stuff in here, I noticed there were these tabs. So let's use let's use one of those too on the index card. Put these aside. All right, did I just throw, just threw that one over there that we were gonna use? So yeah, so that, that'll work good and it'll have this tab on the end of it, so that'll work. So we ink this up. Really good. Well, let's see what we wanna do with this index card. Let's use one of our images from the book. Fold this in half, get this ready to go. Oh yeah, that's gonna look really cute. Okay, ink the top of it. All right, so our little tab's ready to go. Put that over there. 
Okay, let's see what we want to do with this index card here. Let's pick an image. There was this one image of him. Let me find it. Laying down in the grass. There it is. Checking stuff out. And each of these images has a little caption under it. I just love these. Okay. So what I think I'll do is cut the image out to where it's kind of not straight. Or maybe even tear it. Before I tear it, though, I want to cut the caption out. So I don't lose it. Because it may not be under. Sorry about that, guys. My phone, I heard my phone click off. And I thought, oh no, what is going on? Well, I forgot to delete yesterday's, or day before's video off my phone. And uh, so it ran out of space. So, okay. So I cut my caption off because I'm going to use that on here. So now I think I'm just going to kind of tear around the image so that it doesn't have super straight lines. Making sure that I get the whole thing here. All right. And then I'm gonna ink it. And then we'll decide what we wanna do with the background of the index card. I love doing themed journals based on books or if it's a theme. One of my favorite parts about, I don't know if any of you guys are like this, but one of my favorite parts about doing a themed journal is just collecting stuff to go in the journal. Finding things, looking for things, um, and pulling everything together. That excites me. I love doing that. All right, so looking for images and looking through this book to decide what images I wanted to use in a journal, that's fun for me. All right, okay, so we have our pieces here. Let's decide on backgrounds. Let's see, maybe, oh, let's use this. This is pretty, let me get my tear roller. That's really pretty. Okay, we can use some of this. It'll fit in the corner. Let's see what else do I have. I need some... Oh, you know what? Let's use... The book page. That'll be neat. We could, oh, you know, we could use this throughout on all of our collage, on tags and things like that. I think that would be a nice touch. Those book pages need to be used up. So let's use the book pages in our collages. I think that's a great idea. Okay, so I'm going to move this up just a little. I'm going to need a little something in that corner. But that's okay. Let me pull up my big box here. This is the box I keep all of my like little bits in. And I'm sure that I have stuff in here that will work. Here's like some shorthand. Let's use this. Because we only need a little piece just to go right there. Okay. Then maybe some music. See if I have a long enough. Mm. That's not really long enough. That 
that's not really the right size. If you did like this, like that. And then I just need something here. Let's see, maybe is this wide enough? I don't think it is. That's not wide enough. But we can make one wide enough. Choose this one. Sorry, I don't know if I was in camera for that. There. I want to use this side. All right. Okay. All right, so there we are. Let's ink the things that need ink. So this needs all around on all sides. That doesn't need anything that's on the bottom. That doesn't need anything that's on the bottom. Let's do this. And this one. All right. So these go, let me move my box here. These are going to go right down. Glue stick, there it is. Need to turn this. I got the shakes. Ugh, I just hate that. It's my meds that I take. All right, this up in the corner, and I think I'm going to put this under, yeah, I'm going to put that under. I was going to put it over the green, but I think I'll put it under. Get our big green piece down here. And then our purple. It's so funny. My mom's favorite color is purple. My favorite color is purple. And my sister's favorite color is purple. <laughs> We're so original, right? <laughs> okay. So there's our collaged background. Let me try to trim around the... Let me get this page out of here. It's all sticky. All right. All right, we trim around this. <laughs> oh, I love that. Not doing a thing to that. That'll be great journaling. Space, it's gorgeously coffee dyed. Gosh, I love that grungy look. I really do. All right. Now let's ink around the edges. And we don't need to do any inking back here. That's got enough stuff to it. I can't wait to see how this comes together. She's gonna love this so much. Oh, 
Okay, now we're ready. Let's see where we're going to put Sherlock here. I think down here. Looks like he's in the grass, right? Okay, let's put him down. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> and here's our caption. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll map that a little on something. Let's see. You know, I think I'll map it on something solid. Let's put it on some black. I think that that'll make it stand out. I just pulled this out of my scrap bin. I have two scrap bins, one for prints and one for um, solid, so it's easy for me to find something when I need it really fast. Okay, let's trim this out. Give it a nice little border around the edge, a little mat around the edge. Okay. I'll keep this out because each picture has a caption and that just makes it stand out some. I think that looks much better. I think we'll just put this right down here kind of in the corner where it's overlapping the picture a little bit. And I think I'll use glue because this is on cardstock. So I won't use my glue stick and I didn't put my pin in. So now it's mad at me. we go. Let's get this down. Come on. There we go. All right. Let me put my pin in. Let me lay this down and then I'll put my pin in. Okay. So there's that. Oh, that looks good. It says for a long time he remained there. <laughs> okay. Let's I'm put my pen and my glue. Oh, no, because I need this. I think I'm going to put my tab right here. Right over that music right there. So let's lay that down. I'm just going to glue up the entire thing. So that it sticks to the page and sticks to itself when I fold it. All right. So we're going to put this like right about here. So you can still, ah, so you can still kind of see the staff of music. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Okay, now we gotta put some pretties on it. I think we need something here and something a little there. Let me put my pen and my glue. So let's take a look at what I have. I'm thinking maybe a butterfly or something like that. Um, let me pull out my ephemera case. Here's butterflies, and here's flowers, and here's like vellum stickers of flowers. Okay, let's look and see what we've got here. That might look good. Um, let's look in here first, see what we can find. 
because I have all kinds of stuff in here, not just like chipboard butterflies, but I have little butterflies like this and ones that I fussy cut out and I'm thinking kind of a more neutral. No, maybe more like that. I want to stay with kind of the purples. Let me see if I have a purple flower. I'm thinking that would go good there. Let me mute up the white on the edges here and kind of knock back that white. See if we have a pretty maybe flower to go right there. Maybe we've got a purple one. Let's see. Let me see what I have. Oh, I saw some purple. Oh, that's kind of big though. But I could cut it down. Maybe. Let's see if we have anything smaller in the right color. Oh, here's something. Here's something. I can I can cut off this part. Let's do that. Or my scissors. Okay. Just gonna kind of mimic the round shape that's going around this flower and cut that stem off. And then I'll set it over the words there. Just kind of off the edge a little. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let me trim that. Okay, oh, pretty. And let's glue our butterfly down. that's what we have. I'll sew around the edges of that so I'm gonna pause you while I do that I'll be right back. Okay that's what that looks like. I love to sew around my journaling cards and tags because I just feel like the frame that it creates on the border just sets everything off. So that's our first journaling card. I think that's where we'll end today but let me go ahead and put it in. Let's see how it looks right in here on the first page of the journal. That's great. All right, guys, we'll do more work. I know I did a lot of talking and showing of what um, is actually in here. So don't forget that um, Tracy Fox's Lorella kit is um, link is in the description box below uh, her in the name of her Etsy shop and also the video on how to create the calendar that's in the middle of signatures also linked below so until next time you guys have a great day and god bless bye bye